I know you always say that being a good spy is about... About not rushing into situations and thinking things through. What's up, my beautiful fast fam? So, like anticipated, DreamWorks and Netflix have dropped a trailer for the Fast and Furious Spy Races Season 6 Homecoming, and there have been some other different clips released so as to promote this season. So, today we are going to be breaking the trailer down and looking at facts as to what's going to come in the Homecoming season. Now, I think for some of my mates out there who have been hating the way Tony was being disrespected as a leader by Layla and his team, and how his leadership skills were questioned, well, for this season, which is being called Homecoming, Tony starts looking down Mary Lane and all the mistakes he has done, and the kind of lessons he has gained from making these mistakes. And this may be because he was about to be given one of the most important missions he had ever taken, which is to save his hometown, LA. Los Angeles. Tony in the trailer says that is the one last final mission for the spy races. What this means to a lot of us is obviously that Fast and Furious Spy Races Season 6 Homecoming might as well be the very last season we will ever get from the joint partnership of Netflix and DreamWorks. At the beginning of the trailer when LA is getting attacked, it looks like one of the bad guys main target is or was Shashi Da's house from season 1. Yes, the one and only Shashi Da's house that was on the side of the ocean. Yes, my G, this way was my house that Shashi Da lived in. It gets blown up and the house crumbles to dust. What does this mean? This may mean that Shashi is a target of our new villain. And this means that Shashi will be coming back for the final mission. And it only makes sense since he was the main reason the spy races ever got formed in the first place. So my thoughts as of now is that Shashi becomes a target and because he has a better relationship between Tony, Layla and the spy races team, he is certainly going to team up with them again. But then again, for a better twist, Shashi may be the main villain of the season and the reason why his house got blown up may be because Shashi himself wanted to destroy evidence that might have exposed his secret plans, you know. Either way it goes, Shashi Da is definitely returning for Fast and Furious by Racers Homecoming, aka Season 6. Next up, okay, and then there are these suits you see here. We have definitely seen these suits before in Season 4. The ones that make the person wearing the suit gain extraordinary abilities like you know super strength, speed and even more. Does this mean that the main baddie from season 4 was working for another bigger baddie? Or maybe he's still in LA for this 6th season? Well we'll get to find out in the upcoming homecoming season. At first if you have been keeping up with my plot theory videos. I've said before that there would be hardly any other kind of races or stunts that will make the Spy Races series any more attractive, but my dudes and dudettes, I was so very freaking wrong. There is this one stunt you see here where the huge truck is in between this huge, huge cargo airship and their high roller wheels. Mate, this is one of the things that practically guarantees that season 6 will be a freaking banger. Also looks like Tony and Cisco's relationship will get tested and they will get sentimental about their relationship. The actions just keep getting better and better. There is also this one huge clip that one of my subscribers recommended to me to watch where Lila Grey is driving a limousine. This looks so freaking amazing yo. She smashes it and it crashes and blows up. Which is, you know, amazing. And then comes the characters. For all the characters coming, we have got some old villains for this one. I'm sure some of the fans will love them because we have got Matsuo, or was it Mutsuo fans? Anyway, fans out there and they hoped he would return to, you know, take revenge on Cliff Kelso. I'm so very happy to tell you that he's coming back for the final season. And some of you even wanted Matsuo to, you know, team up with Shashida. Which may eventually happen, so stick around to find out if, it's act if that's gonna happen. Not exactly sure which side Matsuo is going to be, either on the good side or on the baddie dude side, but mate. But yeah, whichever side is on, we are very happy to see him back in the series because he really is a, an awesome character. Aside from Tony, Layla, you know, the basic spy races, we also see Frosty's sister taking a little bit of action, you know, she has also some screen time in there, so that's gonna be dope. Now for the plot. Thanks to Show Lover 3000, showrunner Tim Hendrick 
gave us a little tease for this final season. And yes, Show Lover 3000 posted it on her community page on YouTube, so you should definitely go check her out. It goes as follows. This final season takes our crew on one last trip around the globe before dropping them back in LA to defend their home turf against a villain truly unlike anyone they have ever faced before. We are going to see racing everywhere from the Arctic to Andra to the Atabot <laughs> to the Modeland Driveland driver in Hollywood Hills. Tony and Echo's relationship will be strained to the breaking point as the team grasps grapples with the mystery of who actually gives the orders to the team Toretto. Can our crew still trust Miss Nowhere? Could this be the end of their spy team forever? Layla gets to work as a Hollywood stunt driver. Cisco delivers his one man show with his life on the line. Frosty acts a video game to save the day and Gary and Julius produce this very special tribute to Ken Burns documentary. It's Hollywood, baby. <laughs> and the official synopsis from DreamWorks is as follows. The spy races meet their match in a mysterious villain who steals their spy tech, sending them on their most dangerous international mission yet. In a race against time, the team traverses Europe from the Swiss Alps to Berlin only to find themselves back home in Los Angeles for an epic showdown and it's going to take the entire Toretto family to save the world one last time. And then Show Lover 3000 continues to say, after reading the synopsis and Randrick's tease, how do you feel about the upcoming final season? Well, I would actually love to also hear what you feel about the upcoming season, so please be sure to drop down the comments down below, and don't forget to like the video, and I'll check you out in the next one. Yeah, please subscribe, please. Some of the words were there were super hard for me to pronounce. <laughs> anyway, I'll check you out in the next content. See you later, kaboom. This ride is different.